Logan, 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 your famous face has been on camera a lot. A lot of times it's been on lives, but we've been yep. running around this country together supporting American manufacturing for a while now. And today I get to talk with you about IEMCA. So let's talk about where it comes from, what it's good for, where it's implemented, how it can support customers. Let's get into as many details as we can for the people who have not got into Barfeed yet or the people that know about Barfeed and where IEMCA might be able to support them and maybe replace them what they currently have. The Depending on the areas we want to talk about today for the audience, but let's start firstly with IEMCA itself, where it's from, and its reliability coming to the U.S. market. Yep. So first of all, IEMCA is an Italian company. We are the oldest uh, bar feed manufacturer. Actually, manufactured the very first automatic bar feed back in the '60s. So IEMCA has been around. We we are the experts on bar feeding. We've got a solution for every application. As you can tell in this shop, very good IEMCA customer. They are running IEMCAs on every machine that they have that can be bar fed. Um, you know, we're an Italian company, um, so we're, we're utilizing the best components manufactured in Italy with, you know, the highest criteria of what to expect out of a bar feeder. So we're really pushing the limits. Uh, every year, you know, IEMCA is investing into R&D. We're not stagnant, always trying to find a better solution for each application. So that, and you know, Northland here today is a perfect example. They've got every model of bar feeder we have, I think, other than one. So they're, uh, they're the people to come to if you got questions about IAMCA, and they can really give you, you know, a good idea of what it's like to live with IAMCAs in your shop. So, Yeah, Logan, it's almost like you've done this before, I tell you, my friend. And you're right. So talking with, we're here at Northland Screw Products today for everyone who's watching right now. And they told me there's 28 machines that they have them on, investing for the last 20 years. And a lot of them have come since 2018 as well. Yep. So it's constant growth of what's happening. And they told me earlier that since the 20 years, there's been almost no issue. The service and support has been amazing. The reliability is there. The fact that they continue to purchase them for the last 20 years shows how important and how influential it has been here as well. So everything you're saying, we're already conveying to the audience, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's a big thing. These guys are a great customer of ours. Um, like I said, they've got just about every bar feeder that we make. So real life experience, you know, these guys, they have, you know, the elites, they have our smarts, they have our bosses, our masters on the bigger diameter. And, you know, we've got a great partnership here with uh, these guys and with Star and some of the other machine tool manufacturers that we're going to talk about today. Um, you know, in this video, of course, we're seeing a lot of the IAMCAs on the Swiss machines. Um, and then on the other side of the shop, we've got a lot of IAMCAs on their fixed head. So they found a, uh, a great solution for all of their machining needs on the turning side. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a testament to our reliability and our service, which we've, we've really built up over the past five years, especially, really putting some investment into uh, resources to make sure this is the experience that all of our customers have. So I think that's important to convey. And since I have you on camera and I actually have a moment of your time because you're so busy, I'd like to take a moment to discuss opportunities for the customers out there who haven't fully bought in to bar feed yet, that are still a lot of manual loading and unloading and think that they can throw people at, at operations instead of having the effective efficiency, productivity, all these ivities that make us uh, productive in our machine shop. So let's take a moment, if you have some sort of message that you could convey to the folks out there who are still doing it that way to say, look, it's easy to implement. It's plug and play. We're here to support you. We're here to make sure you have success. It doesn't need to be for a million piece job. It can be for 500 pieces. Anything that you could say to the audience right now who's still leaning on that fence about adding a bar feed. Yeah, so with uh, bar feeding, it is the cheapest form of automation. Um, you know, we repeat that over and over until it clicks, hopefully, with, you know, some people out there. So there's a lot of shops out there that are doing, uh, you know, manual loading of bars or they're running, you know, hydraulic bar feeders one at a time. And, you know, if you're running a couple hundred pieces, you might have a couple bar changes depending on the length of the part. So just being able to have that finish out the job, you know, you set your work counter on the machine and it's going to stop when you're done with your parts. But the difference is you don't have someone that has to be there to load the next bar. And, you know, the ROI is different for every customer. Um, you know, one of my customers, for example, they estimated a payoff of uh, one of our entry level bar feeders in roughly three weeks, just the amount of extra parts. And they started off with two bars extra per night until the point where they were filling the magazine up once they got their process dialed in. So. That sounds like ridiculousness. If I didn't know you so well, I think you're making that up, but I also know that it's truth because I know you. Now, 
The last thing I'd like to close this conversation out with is what sets you guys apart? It's obvious that you mentioned you're the first ones to get it started. You're constantly innovating. It's very flexible, easy to do, service and support. All of these things matter to the people who are making their investment. But are there any components or technical capabilities that set you guys apart from someone else that's out there? Yeah, so uh, like I said already, you know, the R&D that IAMCA puts into their machines, um, we're ergonomically certified over in Europe. They, they went through a long process to get that handled with not only the controls, but the changeover from job to job, you know, change in channel sets. We've got quick change channels on all of our bar feeders now. They snap in, they snap out. Cuts down your, you know, your changeover time if you're having to change a channel set. Um, you know, there's shortcuts on our touchscreen. We've got a seven inch Siemens touchscreen that has a lot of uh, user friendly, you know, parameters, that kind of stuff where it's got quick menus. Um, you know, the most used parameters pop up on the first screen that you see on the bar feed. So you've got that paired with the quick changeover. We've got options like some of these guys back here, they're running our extended magazines. Um, you know, you're getting an extra seven inches out of your magazine, whereas, you know, before you might be limited to 11 inches. Now they've got, you know, 17 inches on there or 16 inches on some of them where you're getting that many extra bars in between, you know, jobs. So you're less, less loading of the bars, you know, less user intervention where you're having to load up bars. You know, you, you stage the machine and you let it run, so. Well, now that we've helped you sell about a thousand more of these things with this video, when are you and I taking a trip to Italy? Uh, it looks like maybe this year, so I we will like see. We're, uh, we're hoping our open house, maybe we can get you over there for that. So I would like to, and we're going to close this whole thing out with that very famous song because you know what I see everywhere is this blue, so yeah. I'm blue, da boo dee da boo da <laughs> Thank you all for watching. This is Iamka. This is my buddy Logan. We appreciate you, and we'll see you again soon.